So um, there is one liberal Republican in this race, and it's not me. Steve Poizner has changed his mind on virtually every major issue since he ran for the Assembly in 2004. First is, he is not a tax cutter. He funded Proposition 39 with 200,000 of his own money, which was designed effectively to weaken Prop 13. When every other California, Repu California Republican member of the congressional delegation was in support of the Bush tax cuts, which was, as you recall, a decrease in the capital gains tax, a decrease in the personal income tax, he was against those tax cuts. Then you move on to spending. So actually, he has not cut spending in the Department of Insurance. Spending in the Department of Insurance has gone up by 13 to 14, by almost 14 percent. And um, you know, I've looked very carefully at these numbers. I went right to the Department of Finance and looked at the entire budget for the Department of Insurance, and actually, those numbers are up by 14 percent. During the budget crisis, he spent 1.7 million dollars on new cars. I, you know, I don't think we needed new cars. I think that could have been a place that he that he cut. And then when Governor Schwarzenegger called for furloughs, he refused to furlough a single person. Then you go to the political side of this. Well, he gave. I'm sorry, he, he says that he's cut his staff by 10%. I think it is. Well, mm -hmm. he, he might have cut his staff, but he didn't do any furloughs. And, the, and in the end, you know, I used to see this any day all the time and at business all the time. If you say, oh, I cut people. Well, that's interesting if you cut people, but you spent more in other areas. Because the, really, the thing you really care about, of course, is the total budget numbers. How you get there is secondary to are you spending more or are you spending less than you were when you took over? And the truth is he's spending more. Then you go to political. He gave $21,000 to Al Gore, 10000 of which was to the Gore-Lieberman recount. And then, you know, he uh, – on abortion, I mean, this is quite remarkable. Both of us are pro-choice, but he got 100 percent approval from Planned Parenthood. And in order to get that – and that was just, you know, when he was running for assembly – you have to be, you know, for partial birth abortion. You have to be pu for public funding of abortion. You have to um, be against parental notification. And now he has gone all the way to the right on all of these issues. Um, offshore oil drilling. He was against offshore oil drilling. Now he's for offshore oil drilling. So I think it comes down to, Michael, about trust. And, um, you know, I understand why he's running hard right, but it's very different than the record he had, you know, when he ran for the assembly. I, I got to ask on Poisoner.